it's been a while since we had one of these talks. Don't say it. I know. I'm the one who does most of the talking. I'll try to keep it short. But you're up late anyway, and it's past time I get you up to speed. Put it down! I felt like I've been ripped out of my life. I put somewhere else. I guess that comes close. Disoriented. Fear, confusion, all those things, but disoriented comes closest. For a while I thought I was trapped in some coma dream, something I might not wake up from ever. You know what this does. You've seen it. Is that really what you want for your wife? And I don't want this. Our group's smaller now. We lost another day before last. It was her choice. I won't say I blame her. She lost faith. What matters is, we're moving on. Atlanta's done. Let's not roll and roll together. Sitting around the table at Sunday dinner in the happily ever after. But no, it doesn't work like that, Rick. And you take no responsibility. You're supposed to be their leader. Well, I'm here now. All right. I had a friend. His name was Shane. He got Lori and Carl to safety right after it all started. I couldn't. I was in the hospital. I, I didn't know what was happening. We can't leave. I'm pregnant. Are you? <laughs> We're dying here. No! I'm here for one thing only. No! Your surrender. Oh, you want surrender? Come get it. You think we hit Woodbury heavy last time? Just take it easy, all right? We couldn't protect Judith, or Glenn, or Maggie, Michonne, Daryl, or Mom. They're all gone now because of you. They counted on you. You were their leader. Oh, dearie me. You screwed up, asshole. You hear me? You screwed up. Because it's all about survival now. At any cost. People out there are always looking for an angle. Looking to play on your weakness. They measure you by what they can take from you. You're coming back with us now. Don't make it hard. What did all those things you had to do? You, 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 you were just, you were just a boy. The war is over, Rick. No, we don't know that. I'm talking about you. There's a plan. You gotta see it through. Not one. I haven't been sleeping. Thinking about what we lost. I can't lose you. You asked me. What kind of life we had just surrendering? It wasn't a life. What we did back there, what we're doing now, making a future for Judith, for Glenn and Maggie's baby, fighting the fight that's living. You showed me that. You can lose me. No, yes, you can. I can lose you. We can lose our friends, people we love. It's not about us anymore. It's about a future. And if it's me who doesn't make it, you're gonna have to lead the others forward. first and you paid the price it's worth it when the dead started to rise I 
behind these bars. You know that. Well, then, don't I get some kind of final request? Why don't you bring me? Don't you ever get tired of acting like you're still in charge? Do you? You're not saving the world, right? You're just getting it ready for me. <laughs> 